I'm Sarah Ashley and welcome back to the world of Salt House. So I've always loved the idea of a fancy cocktail party for the holidays, so I'm super excited that today we're going to start that as an annual tradition. So you guys might know that I actually used to throw dinner parties for a living. Uh, I'll link my story video which talks all about that. So I have quite a few tips throughout this video on just how to host effortlessly um, so that you can actually just enjoy your own party. We're having about 20 people over tonight for a cocktail party. So I made a bunch of food and I'm going to show you everything that I made and a couple of specialty cocktail recipes as well as some tips on how to stock your bar. And then I'm just going to talk about a bunch of different tips that you guys can incorporate into your own holiday entertaining. Okay, but let's start with how I decorated because a bunch of you actually asked for a little holiday home tour, so let me show you that first. So I decided to come up with a theme this year, which is sugar plum. And it all started with this set of ornaments that I found when I was just browsing online, and I really just liked the color palette, so I decided to kind of use that as inspiration and then go and get my own things based on that. If you guys get my newsletter, then you might already know that my fiance, Jared, is Jewish, and I'm planning on converting, which is totally my choice, and I'll definitely share more about that process if you guys are interested. But we've agreed to celebrate all the holidays in our house, which for me is the best of both worlds because clearly I love a good party. So being as Jared is Jewish, this was obviously his first Christmas tree, which was really fun to give him that experience. So I found this blue Star of David tree topper on Etsy, and then I kind of used that blue throughout the tree with these ornaments to tie that in as well. And then I also got these bigger copper and metallic ones from Target. And I got these dream catchers from Target too, which I love because I feel like they give the tree sort of like a bohemian vibe. And these blush ones I got on Amazon. And lastly, these little pine cones were also crate and barrel. These were actually leftovers from what I used to make our wreaths in last week's video. So then I wanted to find more plum to carry throughout my home, so I found this plum pom-pom garland at Anthropology, which tied into the boho vibe, and I also got this tree skirt at Target, which I love. I'm also so in love with this little village here that I found at West Elm. Uh, my grandma used to collect these, and so I kind of want to start doing that too, so this is the beginning of that. And then I got this little snow globe from West Elm also. I'm kind of obsessed with penguins, so I just had to have it. Let's head upstairs and see what I've got going on up there. So I've been wanting to do this idea for a long time where I just take a big ham and serve it and people can kind of make their own little sandwiches. So I have these little brioche rolls and some mustard. And I think it's just great for the holidays because it's very little work for you and it's just really festive. From there, that sort of inspired me to create the rest of the menu around things that are more classic, but you know, with a little bit of a modern twist. So things like these stuffed mushrooms, for example, these I make with truffle goat cheese um, and panko breadcrumbs. And everybody just loves stuffed mushrooms. I feel like they've been around forever, but they're always one of the first things gone. Shrimp cocktail, I think is also absolutely great for the holidays. Again, because you can poach the shrimp the day before. And I actually sous vide the shrimp, which sounds really fancy and difficult. It's the most foolproof way that you can cook meat or seafood of any kind. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. That comes from our holiday hosting guide, and so I'm gonna link that below if you guys want more entertaining ideas. There's three amazing parties in there with all the recipes and all the details on how to do that. I like serving a green goddess sauce with shrimp cocktail just because I do think it's a little bit more modern, but also it's great for serving with crudite, which I think is a nice option to have on the table for any guests who might be a vegetarian or just into eating something healthy. And then we have this cheese ball, which also I think is really classic and just gives you that sort of nostalgic feeling. We covered it with almonds and put a little rosemary next to it to make it look like a pine cone. Okay, this is another holiday classic. Everybody knows and loves sweet potatoes with marshmallows on top. So I just did it in a little bit more of a bite-sized version, which I think is really fun. And I made these marshmallows. If you guys want to see that video, definitely check that out. And then I topped it with a little pecan crumble that I just cooked down with a little bit of maple syrup and brown sugar and butter. And then of course you have to have something sweet. And so I made these jam thumbprint cookies, which is funny because I ended up using a sugar plum jam that I got from Trader Joe's and I bought it on a whim and didn't know what I was gonna use it for. And then how perfect did that turn out to be? And then I made these little eggnog cheesecakes, which I just think are so cute. And you can also make those the day before. It wouldn't be a cocktail party without the cocktails. I think I'm actually ready to have my first one. So this is a punch that also comes from our holiday hosting guide. 
I think punches are just the best for the holidays. Anytime that you're serving a large group. Let me see how it tastes. This is probably gonna be dangerous because you can't really taste any alcohol in it. And there's quite a bit of champagne and some vodka and some pink cranberry juice. And then I think is this ice ring, which I use pomegranate seeds in with a bundt pan. So that's a really great tip for making an ice ring. And then I just topped it with some fresh mint and these pink lemons, which are a unique find from Fresh Direct. So these are bottled cranberry old fashions, which I think is a fantastic idea for a party because obviously you do it in advance. And I also made a rosemary simple syrup in here. So I think the cranberry and the rosemary just is delicious. And then you also wanna have a couple of options for simpler cocktails for people who might not be interested in the specialty versions. So for liquors, I like to have mezcal and some type of a whiskey and then vodka and gin. So two dark options and two light options. And they both go really well with simple mixers like club soda, tonic water, ginger beer. I really like this brand Fever Tree. They make light versions of tonic water and ginger beer, which I think is great. And then it's great to have some citrus on hand too. And then in terms of serveware, I'm just a glassware fanatic. So all this glassware is available on our site. So I'll link everything below. And then I'll kind of walk you through some of the stuff that I used on the table. In terms of florals, I kind of wanted to keep things simple. And so we just got a bunch of eucalyptus, a couple different varieties from the flower market. And I added in this pretty pomegranate branch that I got from Anthropology. So I think there was just so much going on with this table. It was nice to kind of just keep this simple and organic looking. I like to have varying heights on the table. So that was why I added this cake platter here. And then I also found this tiered serving tray from Lennox, which I thought was great. This blush platter is from them as well. And I also really liked these little serving dishes. They're like little appetizer plates. And I really love this gold leaf little serving tray. And then in terms of what I'm wearing, I always love a good little black dress for the holidays and really any time. And I really love this one by Rami Brooke. And then it was really perfect because I found these shoes that I just thought were so festive and perfect for the holidays. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little peek into our first holiday party. And I hope that you found some good inspiration and tips for your own entertaining. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.